And she was like, Kelly. I was like, oh, I'm not scared because I know where I'm going if I have COVID and it kills me. Just don't wanna suffer. It's hard to be alone during this quarantine. I hate the chest tightness and heaviness. I called my doctor. I think we're both hoping that this is not Corona. This is not COVID-19. Can you take that hold? Bring. Cheers to feeling better. I feel like I'm not getting a full breath of air. And the flyer is swinging high above the crowd on the trapeze, but the flyer has to let go. And so the flyer arcs out into the air and the flyer's job is to just outstretch her arms and wait to be caught, trusting that the strong hands of the catcher will pluck her from the air. The flyer must wait in absolute trust that the catcher will catch her. This is my thankful 30. I'm not feeling well today, but I'm so thankful for this pillow. It is so soft. This blanket, which is super soft and cozy. And I know it may seem like little things, but nothing that you're thankful for is little. They all add up to showing that you have a good life, regardless of what's happening. Look at these things I get to enjoy while I'm sick. <laughs> Baby. Such a good cuddler. I love you, my boy. I broke down and rented Emma, even though it was really expensive. I love period pieces. It's funny so far. Back to the cuddle loves, Benny. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to roll over on your back? I usually am cuddling with Benny, so that's why I think he's a little jealous of Dash. I moved the pillow out of the way. and Okay, okay, no. And this is what happened. <laughs> he came over. He's like, I have to cuddle and take care of my Kelly. Apparently, he has to kiss me, too. Okay. All right, that's good. Thank you. Oh, my tongue got stuck. Oh, Benny, I appreciate it, but no thank you. Thank you, no thank you. <laughs> How can you not laugh when you have these sweet boys? I don't want, I don't want kisses, though. So I figure I probably should finally update the vlog. It hurts to talk. I've been having symptoms of shortness of breath. It feels really heavy in my chest to breathe. I had a low grade fever for a week. Of course, I'm having a headache, migraine, coughing when I'm talking too much, sweating through my clothes, hot and cold flashes, extreme fatigue, post nasal drip, cold symptoms. I finally called my doctor today. I had three days that were good. I'd say to you is what he said to the people is be still. Put out your arms and let me catch you. I ask you to extend your arms just like this as an expression of surrender. There is a big picture being put together and you understand the pieces of the puzzle even when we don't. Amen. Promise keep light in the darkness. You never stop, you never stop working. Thank you for joining us today. And then the last three days have been worse, almost two weeks now. I called my doctor. They're out of the office, so I got an on-call doctor. I'm so glad I called. I usually push through things, and I was so tempted to do that. When I first called the doctor's office, they said that he wasn't doing any telehealth calls. I started to ask them more questions, and they hung up on me. So I called my mom, and I was like, you know, they're not in office. Maybe I can wait until next week and she was like kelly <laughs> i'm like okay i think i'm saying this because i feel so bad i don't want to have to deal with the people again so i called again and i said you know my doctor said if i was really sick i should call in because i need to talk to him and so she said okay what's your name what's your date of birth what are your symptoms i gave them all and then she said hold on a second and i thought she was like consulting about what to do she came back and she said okay kelly here's the doctor for you i was like Oh, it was the on-call doctor. She was really nice. I gotta lay down and I'm start crying. I'm not feeling good, obviously, so I gotta stop talking. It's just making me feel worse. I'm not scared because I know where I'm going. If I have COVID and it kills me, I'm not scared of dying. I just don't want to suffer, and that's not possible, is it? <laughs> Do you guys see that? 
she decided to put me on azithromycin for a few days and see how I do after that. And she said that she wants me and my family on extreme precautions. It's hard because Easter's coming, but I'm sure there's a lesson to be learned in that. It's hard to be alone during this quarantine. Dogs are doing good. Here's Penny. I'm miserable, but until now I've been doing thankful 30s on my Instagram, but I think I'm gonna stop that because people are gonna see how sick I am and I don't want them to worry. But today I'm thankful for doctors and modern medicine and that she told me that the antibiotic I'm getting people with COVID get. She said if I get worse to call her, but also, you know, if I, I can't breathe to call 911. I'm not worried. But I don't like the feeling of being sick. I hate this, the way I feel right now. I hate the chest tightness and heaviness of breathing. Yes, I do have asthma. And yes, the pollen count's high, but I've taken my asthma meds. I've took my rescue inhaler, it didn't help. I'm not scared. Because I know no matter what happens to me that I walk right into Jesus' arms. I'm not scared. I just don't like feeling sick. <laughs> I don't like suffering, and that's the hard part of this. All I can think of is this song that says, Let my life be ever only all for thee, ever only all for thee. Whatever I do, I wanted to glorify God and lay down and rest. Drink water, orange juice, and have two things a hand sanitizer right within my reach. I just took my temperature. <laughs> I just got a new thermometer in the mail because my other ones weren't accurate. I have at least one mask. This is my bog mask. I don't have an N95, but you know, I, oh, here's my other one. <laughs> I knew I had two. Clorox wipes. I have multi-purpose wipes, Kleenex, and a garbage can. I have remotes. What more do I need? <laughs> it's just lonely. I think people who live by themselves are probably having the hardest time because you don't have anybody to hug on a daily basis. You don't have anybody that's in it with you, you know? It's weird that I'm sick. First thing my mom started to do was blaming herself and I was just like, no, you can't do that. You don't know and this is, that's not helpful because you'll never know. It's not her fault, you know? Okay, stop talking, this is hurting. I just got a text message from my mom saying that she just left the medication, the antibiotic in my garage. We're doing that so that we don't uh, come into contact with each other unnecessarily. It's hard, but it's necessary. So this is where we've been leaving everything. Oh, oh she gave me a shirt. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. That is that amazing song. Oh my God. I'm gonna cry. That is who yeah. you are. Yeah, she just went into the garage. <laughs> Benny listened, of course, but. Dash, come. Yeah, you little stinker. Thank you. Come on, Benny. Here, can you take that hold? Bring the pool. Thank you. Come. It's good boy. Easy. Good boy. Hold. Give. Yes. Thank you. I have Clorox wipes and spray, and I've been using the spray on a piece of cloth to wipe down everything, like all of the drawer handles and the light switches. Just so many things. But oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna cry. This is so pretty. This is a song. My God, that is who you are. This is definitely my thankful 30. The song, the shirt that my mom just gave me. That was really sweet. Praise Jesus for modern medicine and, you know, hoping this will help me to feel better. It says, let's see, I am allergic to penicillin, amoxicillin. I like to look at side effects. C. diff, which I know one of you has had C. diff. Maybe more than one, but one that I know of. This says, like one tablet by mouth every day for three days. So this is azithromycin. 
and she said this is oh wow it's big i thought maybe it was going to be a z pack and it's not i need to wash my hands before i touch this pill but that is i thought about wearing a mask inside so in case i have covid i tried to wear the mask and it just it's hard because it's hard to breathe through and if i do have covid the mask isn't going to keep me from spreading it around my house this is a big pill so i'm going to put it in a it's actually red there is my pill my nose is running i need to blow my nose i'm not even going to touch the pill so that you know Cheers to feeling better. I've known a lot of people that have been sick during this coronavirus thing, but not been able to be tested. I think we're both hoping that this is not corona, that this is not COVID-19. Let's go, babes. And that I'm gonna feel better. I love you, you're a very good boy. They started to build the fence, my backyard fence today, which was really nice. chest is hurting a lot. My breathing is hurting and that's concerning. I feel like I'm not getting a full breath of air, but just for the fact that I am immune compromised, I don't want to have problems breathing. So the flyer arcs out into the air and the flyer's job is to just outstretch her arms and wait to be caught, trusting that the strong hands of the catcher will pluck her from the air. The flyer must wait in absolute trust that the catcher will catch her. Mm -hmm. 